So as you can see, it's a bit of a mess over here at Kevin Central. But don't worry, when there's a good movie to talk about, nothing gets in my way, including cleanliness. Cue title scene. Mr. Peabody and Sherman is a movie based on the old cartoon strip that used to be involved in the Rocky and Bullwinkle show back in the 60s. Now, if you're a fan of Rocky and Bullwinkle, you know a couple of things. But the most important thing you know is that this was a beloved sketch and a lot of people really liked it and Ty Burrell really doesn't sound like Mr. Peabody. But you know that, as far as cartoon movie goes, there's some pressure on this one, especially after the horrible travesties that have been the Smurfs and, like, every other movie based on a cartoon. But you know what? Where the Smurfs fails, this movie succeeds! Because you know what? This movie is truly excellent. I loved this film from start to finish. Essentially, its story is a little more complicated than a lot of kids' movies, but still very nice. You have Mr. Peabody, who's a dog. They don't tell you why he talks, why he wears glasses, his backstory. None of that's explained. All you know is that he is trying to adopt a boy, Sherman. And when he gets Sherman, he a couple things happen, but essentially he ends up introducing him to the Way Way Back, a time machine that lets him go into the past and learn about history, and Sherman meets a little girl who convinces him to take her into the way back, and hijinks ensue. And you know what? For every weird, crazy, inconsistent thing in this movie, it all worked. I thought this film, like I said, it's excellent. And that's because it truly wanted to have fun. It didn't feel like the Smurfs where it was trying so hard to be dumbed down for tiny children and to sell Sony products. There's a lot of jokes in this movie that even in the theater kids didn't get. But they were jokes that were interesting enough that I guarantee you there are kids right now asking their mother and father, what's this? What's that? How does this work? Why? Because this is a movie that entices you. Mr. Peabody is great. I don't like Modern Family, so therefore I don't like Ty Burrell. But I loved him in this movie. Even though he didn't sound like Mr. Peabody, he brought a lot of heart and a lot of real intelligence to the character. He wasn't a clown or just this annoying thing, even though he did get a lot of great funny lines. Sherman was good, too. He didn't feel like just your typical dumb, brainless, funny child. He did really feel like a kid. From there, the characters become pretty cookie-cutter. But I liked that, because this was a movie that had a smart enough plot that was able to keep itself going and for the right audience by keeping itself youthful and energetic and fun and exciting. It really does feel like a movie that embodies the little cartoon sketch, which is getting kids interested in history and presenting it in a way that will make it funny and seem attractive. And there's a, light, a lot of nice little odes to older movies, like there's this great scene where they're in ancient Egypt and it's got like a lot of Indiana Jones elements and gangster elements in some scenes. I really just loved the shit out of this movie. Now, I'll be, uh, some of the jokes actually, in the grand scheme of things, probably more than I realized at this moment, did not work and just didn't hit because they weren't funny. The animation is cute and neat, but I think we've seen it a couple too many times already. But overall, I'd say this is a great movie. Bring your kids. Hell, go on your own. You'll probably have a great time with it. Because you know what? Mr. Peabody and Sherman is a 9 out of 10 on the family movie scale. This does what films like The Smurfs or The Nut Job or movies like that fail to do. This is a family movie, not a kid's movie. Because of it, it's trying to be liked by everyone and really honestly is trying to entertain you all. And you know what? What movies do you like that entertain you all? In the comment section below, tell me your favorite family movie. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe because eventually this will hopefully get cleaned. <laughs>